Hey y'all. So, so since the other day when I went live, went live on IG, and I said I was gonna do 30 videos in the month of November. Um, I think I'm counting, I'm probably like on number five. <sighs> probably like on number. Probably on number four. But however, it don't matter how many videos I do, we know I'm going to yarn. Let's get that out the way. <laughs> I'm going to yarn regardless of how many videos I do. But, so I went live on IG and I told everybody that I was doing the, um, the 30 videos. And I said, if y'all have any videos y'all want me to do to reach out to me. Do y'all know people really been reaching out to me? Like, I have a list. I think I have... 15 different um titles to do and i'm really like y'all know i'm overreacting about it too because y'all know i'm a virgo let's get that straight i'll make sure i do a video on virgos too i'm a virgo so <sighs> we like for stuff to be perfect and we know nothing can be perfect so i don't even know how i'm gonna get that done but i decided to do this video first because um the lady that reached out to me um, yesterday, when she reached out to me, I was going to go to bed. And that's actually the for, the last thing I thought about when I went to sleep. And it was the first thing I thought about when I woke up this morning. So I'm going to do this video for her first. And then I'm going to start with all the other videos. It's it just been on my spirit. So she asked me to do a video on, and I did a video on this before. I'm going to try to find it. And I'm going to share it in the description because I think I did this before maybe a year ago. Um, the topic is, I don't know what I'm crying for. <laughs> the, she wanted me to go do a video where I explain how to disclose your status to somebody when you're dating them. So I've been thinking about this all day, the same way I was thinking about it when I did the video the first time. Um, so everybody's situation is different. Keep this in mind. Um, everybody's situation is different. I'm only giving y'all my, um, opinion of what I feel that I think would be best or how I go about um, doing it myself. Um, I'm actually not dating. Um, I am seeing, I, mm, I am, um, how do I put this? I'm not dating, this is not dating. Um, we, in a, we, we in a relationship. Um, so, but before that, I didn't have to go through the dating, the dating stages of um, talking about different things because they already knew that I was positive, right? So my situation is a little different because I'm so open and I'm so public. But let's say if I wasn't for the people that's not open in public. Um, somebody do a video for me and tell me about this journey that I be doing and why do I get so nervous doing videos? I've been doing them for so long. Why do I still yearn? It makes no sense to me at this point. But what I would think I would do is the first way. First off, let's go. Let's talk about this. If you are HIV positive, or if you think you HIV positive, if you know somebody that's HIV positive, if you heard about somebody being whatever, first off, I got HIV, but HIV don't got me. So if you have HIV, you got HIV, but HIV don't have you. You have to have that mindset because if you don't have that mindset, you're going to live HIV. You're going to live, listen to me, you're going to live HIV. And so many people is living HIV and you don't have to. You could just live your regular life that God created you to have. But instead, we allow the label or the title that was given to us for whatever reason and we allow that to define us and that's not who we are you are not hiv let's start <laughs> let's start right there you're not hiv right so because you're not hiv you don't gotta move like you hiv positive you just move like you move you feel me you move how you move so if i if i say if i was dating somebody right let's say the, the first stages of the dating like okay we going out going to the movies going out to eat talking on the phone regular conversations this is regular conversations listen to me one thing i know for sure and two things i know for certain when you getting to know somebody y'all are gonna have a sex conversation y'all are gonna have some type of sexual conversation 
it just it just comes natural. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna take because everybody's situation is different. But in the midst of dating somebody before sex, y'all have some type of sexual conversation. And when you have that sexual conversation, that's the best time to ask certain questions so that you can know how they're going to, how, not so you can know, so how, so you can get a feel of how they're going to, how they will receive that information. That's what I would do first. I would say certain things to see how they'll handle the situation first. And then I'll just wait until the time is right. Listen to me. Another thing. See, it's so many things I could talk about with this. Listen, when you're confident in who you are and you are working on yourself and you are determined to be a better version of yourself and your higher self every day of your life, your vibration and your energy is really, really high. And you are in tune with yourself and you are in tune with the higher power, the creator, God, whoever, however you use those words when you in that type of mode of life you're gonna know when the right time to tell somebody you just automatically gonna know you know what i mean so let's say if y'all just casually having a conversation about something the conversation about condoms should come up the conversation about protection should come up and you can see how they how they gonna how they gonna handle that it's just i can't really say because i don't know because i have not i have not experienced it but if i was to experience it that's how i would handle it handle it i have regular conversations and when it's time to have a sex conversation depending on how the how the energy level is i might tell them but the one thing that i believe is best to allow a person to get to know who you are outside of hiv because you are who you are and HIV is just something that's a part of your life. So you want them to get to know who you are first. That's just what I would think. And I don't think that's being deceptive. I don't think that's being no type of way. Because even if y'all, even if once you disclose and they don't want to deal with you, I'm sure if you a dope person like me, <laughs> if you're cool and your vibration and your energy is high, they not gonna wanna not they they're they're not gonna wanna lose you. As a friend either. You see what I'm saying? Even if they don't want to deal with that. So you still going to be able to have some type of relationship with them anyway. Just because of who you are. Not because of what you got. So my my suggestion or my advice to somebody that's dating somebody. Don't let them touch you without telling them. Don't allow them to touch you without you telling them that you're HIV positive. That's number one. Number two, allow them to get to know who you are outside of HIV. But see, this goes back to what I was saying at first. You have to know who you are outside of HIV before you can even introduce somebody into yourself. Because how you who are you? You see what I'm saying? If you don't know who you are and you cannot define who you are, how how is somebody else gonna be able to distinguish that? They're not. They're not gonna be able, they they're not they're not gonna know who you are if you don't know who you are yourself. It's best to be in tune with yourself. Before you even enter a relationship. So that's a whole nother video. Because before you even start dating. You should be trying to get to get in tune with yourself. Not Even if you're not HIV positive. But just because you're HIV positive. Is, is a different twist to it. But like I'm saying. The two things that I think that's the most important thing is. Do not allow them to touch you. Unless you tell them. You disclose your status to them. And the second thing would be. Allow them to get to know who you are outside of HIV. Allow them to get to know who you are, what you like, what you enjoy, what you what do you do for a living, who you are. Keep in mind, what you do is not who you are. What you have is not who you are. Do you even know who you are? For some reason, I'm study that study coming up on my spirit. It's, it's study, this is actually gonna be a good video for somebody. Who are you outside of HIV? Who, who are you? Do you even know who you are? Do you still have an identity? Have you allowed yourself to be yourself since the day of your diagnosis? Or are you hiding behind the words HIV? And if you are hiding behind the words HIV, you do not need to be dating nobody. You do not need that because that's a whole nother level of understanding of dating and possibly getting a relationship. That's something totally different 
from the level of self. You have to master self first before you can even step into something. So this is just like this video. I'm probably gonna have to do a part two to this video because it's so important to it's so important to handle a lot of other things before you even get to the diagnosis part. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's gonna be a two part two to this video, and I'm gonna have to get this together. But for now, if you are dating and you have not disclosed your status, it is vitally important to allow them to get to know who you are first before you disclose and when you confident in who you are and you con not only one more thing i f forgot not only that you have to be educated on the thing that they say you have you know what i mean i know so many people that just know the hiv positive once have medicine they take they don't know about being undetectable they don't know about prep they don't know about none of the pep they don't they, they don't know about prep pep they don't know none of this stuff you have to become educated you have to become, you have to have a degree in HIV. <laughs> you have to become educated. You have to go to school for HIV. And you have to pass certain tests. And you have to, to be well equipped to be able to explain that to somebody. Because if you just say, well, you know, I'm um, HIV positive. People don't know what HIV positive means. They just think, oh my God, they got HIV positive. They're going to die. A lot of people think that. So if you disclose your status and you cannot educate after dropping that type of information on somebody, they 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 not gonna take you serious. And I won't take you serious either, to be honest. Because how could you tell me that you're HIV positive and not educate me after that? Because if you can't educate me about what you got, I know you 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 don't even know what you you don't know what you're faced with. You don't know how to handle your own sickness. You don't even know how to handle your own situation in your own life because you are not educated in the area. So I can't take you serious. I can't even date you. I don't take you serious on no level because you're not aware of what's going on within yourself and your body. Forget about how cute you look, how educated you are, and the nice places you can take me, and, 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 and the energy that we have. All of that is dead. Because you can't even take responsibility for yourself and get educated about the things that's affecting your body without your permission. You see what I'm saying? So it's so many levels to that. So we have three, three key points. The first thing is don't let them touch you without disclosing your status. Second thing would be allow them to get to know you. The third thing is be, third thing would be you have y'all hear that you have to be educated in this area to even disclose your status you have to be ready for you have to be ready to answer questions you have to be ready to counsel you have to be ready for that that's not just okay i'm hiv positive and that's it no baby they gonna want answers they are going to want to know answers you have to be able to give them the answers that they need so that they can understand what you're going through that's what i feel but i'm going to do another video on accepting yourself as a person living with hiv i'm going to do that i think i'm gonna i'm gonna fit i'm gonna put it all together how i how i'm gonna do it but doing this video helped me understand so much it's like y'all don't understand these videos help me too um Doing this video helped me understand that before you can even share your diagnosis, you need to be educated. Not only that, you have to be confident in who you are. Like, it's so many levels to this. But honestly, over all of the things that I just said, the most important thing to me would be, first, being confident in who I am, period. And knowing that I have HIV, but HIV don't have me. That's the most important thing for anybody that's living with HIV, period. If you can get that together first, everything else is a piece of cake. The dating, the disclosing, everything else is easy because you are comfortable with who you are. And you know that this thing is not going to kill you. This thing do not define you. That you are still a human being and that you still is worthy of love. And acceptance when you get that that's a game changer so 
I hope y'all like my video. I be all over the place. But y'all know me, right? I've been doing this for a while now. Y'all know I be all over the place. But listen, if y'all have any other um topics, any other videos y'all want me to drop, let me know because I'm finna be on one. I'm, some days I'm even gonna try to post two videos, like one in the morning and one in, not the evening, probably like midnight hours and then morning. That's probably how I do it. I don't really know how I'm gonna do it, but... Trust and believe your girl gonna get it done. 30 videos the month of November. <laughs> y'all enjoy y'all day. And this is day two. This is video two. Well, this is video two since the time that I went. I went I, yesterday. Hold on. Day before yesterday when I had said that I was gonna do this. So this is this is video two. But I actually did more video. I think I did three videos before even doing that video. So I don't know if I should count that. That's like a little bit like cheating, right? I don't know. But Y'all, stay in tune, and please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. I'm noticing that a lot of my videos is being watched by people that's not subscribed to me. You need to subscribe. Do that right now. Um, and put the notifications on so you can be in tune with these 30 videos I'm about to drop. Actually, it's now 28. Let's get it, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all night, and be safe out there because it's Friday night.